Enjoying Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze? Get episodes 30 days early at patreon.com slash superbeardbros. Now watch some footage of Ted eating one of his favorite snacks, pork pate. Also, Gerard's back. Welcome back to Beer Bros, everyone. It's time for Jelly Jelly Jamboree. We're talking about how we kind of want to make out with Oded Fair. Dude, can he's we? so smarmy. He's a, he's a, oh, I'll put another guy on that list who's kind of handsome. Yeah. Fucking uh, Cliff, Cliff Curtis. Cliff Curtis. Cliff Curtis. Okay. Uh, remember training Hospice. day? Yeah. Remember fucking Smiley? Yeah. Him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smiley. I'm with you. You don't remember him? Uh, all right. Remember fucking... Die Hard, uh, Live Free or Die Hard, you remember that one? No. Oh man, alright, sorry Gerard, then, yeah, you know, that's all I got. Alex, can you pull up a, fav- a, f- a photo of him so Cliff. we can see? Cliff Curtis. Curtis, man who's famous for playing any ethnicity under the sun. You're gonna be like, oh, this guy. Handsome guy, that's all I'm saying. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, they f- oh, they fair, man. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, Cliff. Yeah. He's got like a... He's got like a Christ-like vibe. A Christ-like wow. vibe? Wow, all right. He does, man. Okay. If this guy came to me in my dreams and told me like shit was going to go down, I would trust him. Same thing with Oded Fair. Dude. Oded Fair, I would be like, Oded Fair? Oded Fair shows up and just goes, you have to go to Hamanaptra. And you have to go, yes, of course. Here's the thing. <laughs> I love that Pierce Brosnan got to bring like... The like Silver Age Doctor Fate to the screen flawlessly oh, in like a weird ass bad movie, but like hmm. I would take the reset if it meant Oded Fair gets to play. I loved him, Doctor Fate. I loved like, him. Like, yeah, because he played him once in JLU, I think, or just regular Justice League cartoon. Can't remember. Yeah, man, many appearances. Yeah, he played him like well and cool and exactly how I imagined Doctor Fate. Whoa. Interesting. Dude, this is like the pectin zone. This is the aspic zone. What are we what are we talking about here? Penguins making jelly? On an industrial level? I mean, if I had to trust the penguins to do anything, it would be to make jelly. That's my question, is like why like what what is the jelly? Is it about the bees? Is the jelly about the bees? Oh! Like why? Why are these birds making this jelly? Hmm. Are they? Are they? I feel like this existed before they arrived. But who's making the jelly? Like what am I? Like, what I'm saying is like we're in the like frozen penguin game, right? But they invaded, right? And they invaded Jelly Town. They invaded the Monkey Island, which includes a Jelly Town, I believe. Okay. Alex, sometimes we, we just don't know, like... I'm just trying to get my... I mean, look, the reality... Like, you know, we have to ask these questions. Like, why does Oday Fair know the way to Hamanoptera? Uh, yeah. And look, no one else. I'm just trying to get all my if jelly... I told you that I was a man on the way. Maybe everything grew around the jelly. Everything grew around the jelly. Also, the dude who plays the mummy is also... Arnold Vossler? Arnold. Yeah. Fucking Arnold. Dude, what is the man in, though, besides Blood Diamond? You're in a few things. Mummy, a mummy Returns. And the Mummy Returns. When he gets resurrected again. He's been in a bunch of goes, shows like The Wire and whatnot. Yeah. He goes like, in his fucking language, he goes, What year is it? And like, his sycophantic, you know, e- e- Egyptian dude goes like, My lord. I- I- in Egyptian, I, I assume. He's yeah. Like, My lord, it's the year of the scorpion. And then this big CGI dripping wet mummy goes, Truly? <laughs> like, <it's> like <laughs> no a, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's a long his fucking body, time. Yeah. He's like for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Those. Mo- Here's the thing. I love the mummy movies. That's all I can say about them. I don't even okay, know. I, I don't know if they're good. How much I love them? No, they're great. They still hold up, dude. I don't think there has to be a difference. 
I enjoy them mummies, the first two at least. What I mean is like I don't know. I, I, also I haven't gone back and watched it in like a couple years now. Okay, do it. Yeah, we watched it like like in COVID, I think. Yes, yeah, I watch which, it. We were I watch about, it. We watch it once a year. We good. were talking about the Spider Man, uh, the Raimi films, and I watched those again for the first time in many many years. Yep, and I did not enjoy them. Really? Yeah, just like it's, any of them. Did you swip? Did you flip on them? Flip? Like were you like I love these movies, and then you're like, wait. Growing up, I thought the first two were like, hey, pretty cool, pretty good, and then this time I was like, man, these are really like they're they're not they're not my favorites anymore, and, and like I was surprised that I liked the first one the best. You know, the one thing that I found about the movies, going back and watching them recently, because Kelly and I did too, mm -hmm. was it really was like, what the fuck about Mary Jane? What do you mean? She's like really like a. She's more of a literary device at all times than she is like a character with like consistent motivations. Like a lot. And it, it's like weird. And Peter's like also kind of like. What do you mean she's a literary device? Like sometimes she like states things that she wants. Uh, and they they like make it so that Spider-Man gives them to her. But like that she doesn't she does things against her own wants like throughout the movie like in Spider-Man 2 especially like I would love to see some concrete Spider-Man 2 especially there's like some back and forth about whether or not they like love each other and stuff I think that's kind of the theme that they were exploring in the no a hundred percent but I just mean the discussion between them is like it doesn't feel like a consistent huh. char like character so much as it just feels like the oh, drama is motivated by what they need to like make Peter's story make sense it was just can't you say the same thing for just about every character in that film not as much like <laughs> like for example like Harry has like clear issues with his dad and like with Peter like I will he's, he's struggling company. with issues mm -hmm. Mary Jane just kind of is like whatever thing she needs to do to get Peter to be like not doing good is what she does okay all right yeah I don't know we were like we were like she should be like more of a heroine it's weird that she's like why not. should Mary Jane be more of a heroine she just is like not Peter's the hero. Yeah, but she's just not even a character. She needs to be like more of a like a she's not interesting. That's what I mean. She just needs like more. She's to be more central to the story because she's like the second character in the movie. It's weird. It's just hmm. weird. Hmm. All right. I was surprised. Now, I was surprised I by it because I didn't think about it before. Oh, I see. What's, What's the, green? the green? Higher? Green is high. Can you take me higher? No, that's Creed. When you go there, let's jump on the gelatin. No, to go there. <laughs> and if jelly square. <laughs> What's the green jelly you, th you guys think? Uh, Didn't they compose the music for uh, Mark Maximum Carnage? <laughs> Creed? No. <laughs> green jelly. <laughs> that's good. Gerard, that was for Gerard. <laughs> yeah, that was for me. Only me. I always think of green jelly as mint. Uh, lime is the flavor that I'm thinking of. Uh, oh yeah, I get that. Yeah, you know, jello gelatin. I'm thinking know? about like when I eat like lamb at like an old timey steakhouse, and they give you like that weird mint jelly. Mm. Weird thing. A weird, a weird thing for sure. Weed thing? No, just weird. <laughs> just weird. No, 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 not everything. Oh, oh. I see it. G E G G G E. All right, let's see if I can do this. Grab this guy. Grab that boy. Nailed it. This level so far, what? A little bit uh, more lenient than the previous. Yeah. I oh fuck. Oh, definitely so. I see. This seems like huh. really fun to me. Now, why would I do if I do that? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. you just. Okay, okay. I scared hey. the shit out of me. They're like, this motherfucker's never gonna just pound the ground. They're gonna just he'll be looking. never do it. Because he'll think that yeah. it's more complicated than it actually is. Never do it. I sounded like someone's impression of Quentin Tarantino. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> if you said okay like two more times. Gosh. He it wants to hit it, okay. <laughs> but he's never going to hit it because he thinks that I'm too smart to just let him hit it, okay? But he's going to pound the ground because eventually, okay, he's going <laughs> to 
<laughs> he's gonna pound the ground because eventually, okay. Okay, he's gonna pound it. Gonna What's pound that fucking that shrimp called from uh, the Muppets? <laughs> Uh, I know who you're talking the yeah. purple man, right? Peter, uh, is he Pierre? No, he's like a little. He's like he hangs out with Gonzo sometimes. Pepe? Yeah, Pepe, Pepe, Pepe. Pepe, Pepe, Pepe he's like, is he not purple? Pepe, no, the, no. Like, he's like a shrimp. I think, I think he purple? was. Uh, he he is red now. But I think in his earlier renditions, he was. I mean, maybe he is. I just think of him as like a little crispy shrimp. Yeah, coconut shrimp. I, I, I may be thinking of that catfish, honestly. The dude from Muppets Tonight, Clive. Clyde? They're like bam, dreads bam, catfish. Bam, 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 bam. Another one of Looks my like favorite. Knuckles. Yeah, one of my favorite old school chuckle. Muppets. I really liked Muppets tonight. I yeah, me too. I remember that Prince episode real good. Oh. Here come the Muppets tonight. It was when Prince was the the symbol. Dude, dude, sure. dude. I just, my dad was a big Prince fan. Oh, is this to show me that bombs destroy ice cubes? Mm. Oh no, I can just do that. Ooh. <clears throat> That's me taking my dog out at 3 a.m. to go outside. And then getting bodied by Donkey Kong. <laughs> what the fuck? P. 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 This game is absolutely beautiful. Is Retro Studios like low key the best? Oh, yeah. Like, are they just like so? They're excellent? great, uh, dude. I got so excited when I heard they were working on a Star Fox like uh, F Zero racing game yeah. that never showed up. I remember that, but then they like took over Metroid instead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look. Here's what I think. I think Retro needs to make something new. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want them to make a game they already made again <clears throat> yet. I want to. I want them to take tackle like a new franchise. Hey, hey. I remember they were making that Zelda. They pitched a Zelda yeah. R RTS or tactical game that would have been cool, like Zelda Fire Emblem. Actually, more like Zelda XCOM, let's say. Ooh. Zelda XCOM. <laughs> Yeah, I need that second one. <laughs> he, he. <laughs> That's if you take a Michael Jackson song and slow it way down. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I went and saw Captain EO at Disneyland and the and the lady was like, I don't know if she knew about Michael Jackson. I don't know what. Oh. But she was like, hee hee, hoo hoo. Welcome to D Captain EO. What he the oh, fuck? No. Huh? Yeah. She kept going like hee hee, hoo hoo. Beyond that one sentence, she just kept doing like, it? Like throughout the whole spiel? She yeah. was like, Shimon, come on. Yeah, she, but not, no <laughs> Shimona. Just she was like, hee hee hee, hoo hoo. Yeah, hee hee, hoo hoo. <laughs> That's really strange. <laughs> really, That's really bizarre. like maybe the funniest roast of Michael Jackson that I've ever heard in my life. Is it a roast though? Like, I feel like if I were a huge Michael Jackson fan and it's like, Oh, and, and this weekend only, when you come down to Captain EO, you get to ask one question about the production of Captain EO. So come for the Q&A, and I'd be like, got it. I got my one question I want to ask. And if I went there, and it's like, before Q&A, we're going to watch Captain EO, okay? Everybody, yay! And if she did that spiel, I would immediately abandon whatever fucking question I had to be like, <laughs> why are you doing that? Hee <laughs> hee. Why are you doing that? Like some kind of weird Michael Jackson-themed trickster god? <laughs> Hee hee, hoo hoo, Kermit the Frog here. Hee hee. Oh no! It really was like that. It was like hee hee, hoo hoo. Welcome to Captain EO. Hee hee. Guys, no uh, sleep. It just took me. It sounded better. It just took me a little bit longer to realize that those were popsicles that were falling down. Yes. It's okay. Hee hee, hoo hoo. Sounds like the long arm tickling person in the Family Guy episode. Long arm hee -hee. tickling person. They tickling the. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> E. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Hey, that's my wife! Yeah. Hey, that's my wife! <laughs> what? Welcome to Captain EO. Hee hee. Hoo hoo. <laughs> did I ever tell? I'm sure I did. He's like, a star started a journey through the stars. Hee hee. Hoo hoo. It's <laughs> a terrible line. I don't think that's even a real line. Write that better. <laughs> if I had one a question to ask about the production of Captain EO, I would be like, how did you cast my friend Mike McNeil, <laughs> even though he was not born yet? Uh Oh, bottom right. Yeah, I see it. Okay, that's how you get in. Hee hee hoo hoo. <laughs> it's just part of me now. 
It's just another part. She's making some weird noises. And I don't know if she's mocking you. He's standing out. A popsicle. Dude, I will never forget he he hoo That's also when Captain EO was on his first run. I'll never forget my little brother turned to my mom when Angelica Houston comes on the screen mm -hmm. and he went, Mommy, the bad lady almost get me. <laughs> Which I think he alerted her to in the sense that he was implying that he wanted her to like, you know, hey, she almost got me, so could you... I was like, <laughs> can you kind of step up your parental? Yeah, she's uh, like polite. He was like, I feel like he was politely informing her. It's like, I almost died. Right yeah. Now. Hey, just so you know, you she almost got me. Better yeah. eye on me. Yeah, exactly. That's the I kind of vibe I got from love her. you. OK, I'm going to watch. The movie. Yeah, thank you. I, I just don't feel that safe. It's weird because it's coming right out of the screen. So if you could just. <laughs> yeah, then he almost got me. Hey, mom, yeah, it's your son. Um, just quick, quick uh, peer, <laughs> peer review. Um, seems like the bad lady almost get me here. Seems like bad lady <laughs> almost get me. I don't know. Um, like, I understand she didn't. But, but I, I feel like she did. But I, I'm hoping you at least would like to know. You just thought I would share, you know, I, I hope to not tell father. He he. Right. Anyway, he he who. Anyway, he he who. Any he he who. <laughs> Wee. Dude, this is hype. Wee. He yeah, I like this. Oh! Oh, fuck no! He. 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 Francis Ford Coppola made that. Wait, it's just full Bodula. Wow, got him. God, sorry, that's a joke. Damn, that's a, that's a joke that no, that, that was damn. for Michael Parody only. Put him on blast. <laughs> no, is that sorry? That guy's it's, name is Wacky. No, it's a dumb, <laughs> just a dumb joke. Michael Parody and I a long time ago. Uh, I had never seen Indiana Jones before uh -huh. when I was like eighteen. Sweet. Um, and so we were we we marathoned all three movies before we went and saw, um, the uh. The fourth one, which Alex, you were at the same theater that I was at. Absolutely. There's a photo. MySpace hoodie, I remember. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, at the end of the first movie, it cuts to, like, you know, the, the final scene where, like, you know, they open the 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 arc and, like, you know, the guy, obviously the now famous skeleton melting. But before that, there's a shot where it cuts to the cliffs. And it, I, I grabbed the remote and stopped it and just went... Meanwhile, in Palace Verdes, <laughs> and I just went, "Hey, Michael, or uh, hey, Steven, yeah, George, we're great. We are so great. We are so great. We are the greatest directors ever." <laughs> and uh, I, I broke Michael Berry that night. Mm. Uh, he thought it was so funny, and so for the longest time, we kept coming up with this dumb joke. About how he wanted to make a, a, a podcast called Great Directos. Mm. And it was all about how the two of them, uh, Steven Spielberg and, and uh, uh, George, George Lucas, just kept saying how great they were. And then Francis Ford Coppola kept trying to get on their podcast and they get pissed off. Like, get, get out of here, Francis. No one likes you. Did you just jump there? Is that what's up? Like Coppola. Through the under the bridge? Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I guess you needed to, like, Fuck. I guess you needed to not bang on that thing first. And now this. Oh, never mind. I think just no, oh. jump. Just jump over that. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Just literally there you go. He, 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 he. Nice. He. Yeah, and so we just kept saying how like <laughs> Stephen and George are on the great train, <laughs> and Francis Ford Coppola has a boat because he can't afford to have a train. <laughs> so they call them Francis Ford Bowler. <laughs> To get him. To get him. Yeah. And that's Ooh. that's a joke that I had to explain to you. Now you guys are friends with people. now you guys are best friends with Gerard for real. That's how it works. Now you know the story. Uh also uh later that day after I saw Indiana Jones 4, I got uh uh, uh like 
stopped by the police for trying to make out with my girlfriend in a parking lot. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say very similar, like, also that day I got a hand job from my girlfriend. Dude, that I, was, that I was sweet. That I was trying. I was trying, dude. but then the cops showed up and had to make me convince. Ooh. Fucking passenger seat hand Fucking job, bro. Dude, come on. I was trying, but uh, come on. the cops came and dude, told me they had, to, they had to check my story. I get it. Get it, but dude, for what it's worth, that's a sweet day, though. For what it's worth, if I was there, I tell that cop to stop cop blocking. Thanks, man. That's weird. I thought you were gonna say if Thanks. I was there, I would have given you that hand job. Thank you, man. <laughs> dude, if I was there, no problem. Thank I totally both. hook you up, dude. Thank yeah, both. I you totally guys. hook you up, bro. Honestly, thank you guys both. <laughs> yeah. Thank you both. He's up and out of homie, you know. That's great. <laughs> Sometimes you just need some stress. Relief. Damn it! Just in case you guys Dude, need Roz, any. Ross predicted the handy J. The handy J. After all these years, mm. we finally That's talked about the handy J. Yeah, she was right. Roz was right. Roz is That's right. the name of this episode. Roz was right. Two two Roz uh, don't make a right. I, I've got a pretty good competitor. <laughs> huh? What? Sorry? For you, title name. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, we'll see. We'll it? see. We'll see. You know what? If it's if it's Roz was right, we'll know. Yeah, if, you know, if, if it's Roz was right, then you at home will know that we didn't like Ted's suggestion yeah. very much. But maybe it's good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just going monkey style. Just flat Dude, out it going feels monkey style. Good to go monkey style. No abandon. This is Brett when his dog gets a little bigger and he's gotta like. Protect himself from, from Michael Jackson's. Yeah, pee pee poo poo. He's like pee hee poo poo. <laughs> Damn. Damn, I got, got Captain America. <laughs> that's what Captain America just did to people. He kind of does, right? Sometimes, maybe. <laughs> if, if Captain America was serious about his shield, those movies would be so gory. Mm. For what Captain America seemingly can do with that fucking shield. Mm. Those movies should be way gorier. Just and that saying. is why I refuse to see them. And that's my problem with the MCU. And until they if, fix it, if they just did that, they'd be making billions and billions. MCU more like woke CU. Okay, the thing I can't understand about it is, don't they want to make money? I don't get it. Hire fans. Don't they want to make money? That's my that's my question. That's my thing. Don't you? Don't they, don't they make want to make money? I'm trying to help you. I look. I can't do it by myself. Okay, I'm trying. All I all I have are the right answers. All I, I know. I, love is, the, I like that because it starts off try, like seemingly humble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely arrogant. Extremely arrogant. Yeah. Like I don't I'm, want to toot my own horn, but I'm going to. That's all I've got. Like I don't have any money. I just have so many ideas. But I'm I more know, of an idea. I know exactly. Like what I don't want to like. Like, my ADHD, like, I can't, like, I'd love to, but I can't write, like, a script. Like, I, I'm, I, I, I'm, mm -mm. but I have ideas. I have and so many ideas. Like, I can, like, my ideas are so good that, like, if someone took that and then paid me, then we could save the MCU. Yeah, first we of all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, I've seen every Marvel movie. I just want Which to say, means that, so I know how it I all, understand everything. I know how it has, I, I, I've been watching this for years, okay? Like, I get it. Yeah. And first off, I just want to say, I'm also a fan. Like, I'm not just a guy. I'm a fan. Yeah, I actually like I say WandaVision, with, okay? I say it with love. I actually love. care about WandaVision. I say it with love because I care. So, you know, I'll, in, in short, give them their comic-accurate costumes, and you'll make $19 billion. Yeah. Also, pee pee poo poo also, he who. Also, personal advice: give the Beatles a shot. <laughs> They're pretty good. If you're looking for some music. Paul McCartney is this guy who did the song for Destiny. It's a pretty good band. You got this. What, what, a, what a fantastic episode this has been. Delightful. It's Level been beaten. Jungle juiced. Level beaten. Level beaten. Level beaten. Level beaten. As on level beaten. Badies. Next Boss time on Beer Bros, Boss it's time. Punch Bowl. If we don't punch a bowl, I'm going to be pissed. Boss Punch Bowl sounds like some like guy from like, like some old. Hey. Like, 
I'm good. Southern cowboy bad guy from a like, gun smoke episode or something. Mm. Anyway, bye. Bye.